Isa, no one's gonna know. <laughs> no one's gonna know what oh my god is. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, oh my god is such a fond memory. Cause when I was a kid, I figured out how to like. Uh, <laughs> why, Isa? Isa, we're we're old. We're old. <laughs> It's okay. I was like, um, I when I was a kid, I figured out how to torrent anime, and I torrented all of All My Goddess, and that was the first bear anime titty I've ever seen. It was Belter Days. So it really, really sticks out in my memory. Prehistoric. Me, 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 me. I'm gonna eat some rice crackers. Oh, they're called rice crackers, but they're like Japanese rice crackers, so I'm gonna eat them real quick. Ah. Mm. Old AI love you. I don't know if I've seen that or read that one. Uh, well, oh.
Oh fuck, it's picking up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be the fucking crunch cat. Well, I'm mute. <laughs> wait, did I not mute? Fuck! Wait, I'm dumb. No. What the hell? I could have sort of hit the mute button. Oh, oh, moment. Ah, ah. God, I love the Crunch Cat meme. It's my favorite thing ever. Delicious rocks. Mm, I'm almost done with my rice cracker. Oh. Mm. crackers I got are really good. Like, they're, like, lightly sweet. They're very tasty. I, like, they're so easy to eat a bunch of them if I'm not careful. Dude, that's a, that's a pitfall of a lot of Japanese snacks slash sweets. They're always, like, they're, they're never, like, too sweet, so it's so easy to eat, like, a bunch of it. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's not, it's not, like, overpowering, so you're like, oh, this is, this is mild and delicious, and you just keep eating them, and the next thing you know, you ate an entire bag of fucking mochi. I have an energy drink. bag of sakura mochi and I, I I ate the whole bag in one day. It was it was so bad. I wanna I wanna buy more but I literally can't be fucking trusted. Tado, I, I haven't tried Tado Mochi. I'll have to, if you if you know like a good brand on like Amazon, I'll buy it and try it. Like I I eat basically anything. Like I am I am like the world's most non-picky eater. Like I will like I can't. There's like no food I can think of that I wouldn't eat. Like there are some things I'll eat. I'll be like oh, I'm not excited about it, but I'll still eat it. <laughs> This is somehow going to segue into cannibalism. I wasn't even going to talk about cannibalism, okay? All those black licorice oysters. Black licorice, I don't particularly like it, but I would still eat it. Uh, I like olives and I like oysters, though. Those are both good. Ah, uh, you know what I should see if I could buy off Amazon that I haven't had in a while that's like one of my favorite desserts? Uh, marzipan? Uh, I haven't had marzipan in a while. I love marzipan. Good, because I don't want to share. Issa, do you like black licorice? Are you- are you secretly my father? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so my dad, like, shortly after surgery, when he was still, like, groggy... It's literally my favorite flavor in the universe. It's okay, you can- you can have it all. I won't judge you for eating it, but you can have it all. Um... 
my dad was like, so my dad had like part of his intestines removed because he had a mass. It's not cancerous, so don't worry. Um, but they had to remove quite a bit, and then they had to like rehook things up. So like shortly after surgery, when he was like still groggy from anesthesia, he was like, "Can you bring me my root beer bottle gummies?" And I was like, "Dad." Dad, you literally just had bowel surgery. I am not bringing you gummy candy. The nurse is gonna say no. <laughs> I was like, you're on a liquid diet, my dude. I'm not bringing those. <sighs> Dad. No, but he actually might be getting out of the hospital like super quick. Like, I think he might be getting discharged tomorrow. He really, he really fucking hates the hospital, so he's probably, like, doing everything in his power to get out as soon as possible. It's fine, just melt them. SD, you're a nurse, don't say that! Oh my god, it was so funny, so, like, um... When I, when I was there last night, he, um, the nurse wanted him to, like, walk a lap around the ward. Um, just to, like, because it, it's important to recovery when you have surgery. <laughs> I, I followed him out and, like, he just, he, like, he sped walked. He did, he was done with this lap in, like, 30 fucking seconds and the nurse was like, Jesus. <laughs> The nurse was like, oh my god, <laughs> he just, he was zooming, he just like, went like as fast as possible around. Hey, also, what were my nurses made to the window, Joe, so I died. Oh my god, okay, chat, chat, my brain is broken. So like, I went to talk to a nursing assistant to like, um, let them know that like, one of my dad's IVs ran out and the pump was beeping. And, um, when I went over there, she was like, what bed is he? I was like, uh, I don't really know, because every hospital does it different, like, the bed numbering. And she was like, is he to the wind? Is, is he to the door or to the window? And I, I was like, to the window. To the wall. To the wall. And then she started, I, like, I didn't even think, I just started saying it. She, like, froze for a second, and then she just started laughing. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with my brain? Ugh, my brain, my brain is broken. It's like stuck in my head. To the window, uh, to the window! To the wall, to the wall. To the sweat drops down my balls. That song, that song right there. It lives red free in my head. First chance your brain gets the shit post, you take it. Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> oh my god, my nurse probably- the, the nurse- my dad's nurse probably thought there was something horribly wrong with my family. <laughs> and so we got on the topic of serial killers and I- I was like- I was just joking and I was like- I was like, Dad, you know, we do have like a nice dirt basement and he started laughing. <laughs> And then, like, he went to the bathroom real quick. He had to bring his IV pump with him, and it started beeping at him when he was in the bathroom. And we just, like, the nurse, myself, and, like, um, a family friend, we were sitting there, and we just hear, like, the pump start beeping. And my dad, just, like, in the most exasperated boys, go, Oh, shut up. And <laughs> the nurse started laughing. <laughs> But yeah, well, well, while I was there, I basically took care of some, like, um... I, I did some stuff for my dad that normally, like, probably a nursing assistant would do. Just, like, grabbing things and, like, stuff like that and helping him. Just so he didn't have to, like, wait for someone to respond to his call button. And I was like, ah, I know what I'm doing. I can, I can take care of him. <laughs> the nurse 
Slurps really appreciated me because, like, uh, the pumps started beaming. I saw it was just low on battery. I just plugged it in. And, like, she was just, like, she was very grateful that I was, like, doing shit like that for her. Like, plugging in the IV pump. I didn't, I, like, even though I knew what I was doing, it wasn't gonna test, touch any of the other settings. Like, I reassured her. I was like, I just plugged it in. It was low on battery. It was beeping. Because I know they're, I know they're understaffed and... Didn't even get picked. Yo, I was joking to my dad. I was like, dude, every time I have to hit the silence pump button, I think I should charge the hospital Why was it plugged in the first place? It wasn't plugged in because my dad was going to the bathroom. So he had to he had to take the IV pump in with him, so it wasn't plugged in. Yeah, no, they have- they have some shit batteries. Yeah, you could- yeah. It was, yeah, it was right after. Like, you had to take the IV pump in with them. Oh my god, my dad! I- <laughs> I love my dad, but god, he's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Like, I was, I was, like, taking care of some stuff for him while I was there, and, like, he was complaining. I was like, dude, like, like, the nurse is gonna do the exact same thing when she comes in, so, like, you're just gonna have to, like, deal with it. I was, it was just, like, little things, like, making sure he was, like, decent. <laughs> I was like, Dad, you, you have to put on the gown. You can't just have a sheet on. <laughs> oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. What a, what a, what a guy. <laughs> Got a streaker. He was just... He was just groggy and tired from, like, a surgery, and, like, he just- he was- he was just tired. But he was, like, complaining, and I was like, Dad, literally they're gonna do the same thing when they come in here, like, come on, man. <laughs> just- just let me help you. <laughs> oh, Dad. Yeah, no, I'll have to... The, thankfully, thankfully, it doesn't seem to be... Oh, whoops. Different chase music came on. Yeah, thankfully, he wasn't in too much pain. Like, yeah, he, like, actually, like, barely had to use the PCA pump they gave him. Yeah, he had one of those, like, pumps loaded with, like, hydromorphone that, like, when he pressed the button when he was in pain, it would give him, like, a dose. Slamming that button. Oh my God. I was, yeah, I was, I was joking with my dad because like um they they lock up the pump thing so you can't like change the dosage and like give yourself a bunch of hydromorphone like it's locked in a case. And I was like I told I told dad I was like I was like I guess I guess you're not having any fun considering it's locked up and he was like damn. Alright, let me, let me start to save the game, but yeah, my dad, my dad's doing well. Like I said, he's probably gonna get released tomorrow, which actually, like, is really, really fast, because they're estimating three to seven days. He just, he just absolutely hates the hospital, so I don't blame him. 
Uh, one of my- my brother I usually do, like, randomizers with and play other games with online is coming up here to stay to help take care of my dad when he gets out. Though, I don't think I'll- I don't think I'll need, like, a lot of help. I think my mom is just being, like, paranoid, but, you know. I can- I can use it as an excuse to trick him into playing Zelda randomizers with me. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Let, me. let me fire up the game. Why do I have DMs? Who's messaging me? Oh, it's a multiplayer randomizer. Dude, Task made a mistake. Task fucked up. I was like, I was like talking to Task and I was like, hey, do you wanna do you wanna learn how to Ocarina of Time randomizer? And that fucking idiot said yes. <laughs> Can you use an excuse to make guest appearance on stream? I don't think he would want to. He doesn't he doesn't like like attention like that. Uh, it's not like, it's not like pure multiplayer, it's like, um, it's called Mod Loader 64. And you can basically use it to co-op a randomizer seed, like, you can't interact with each other or fight the same enemies or anything, you just literally see the other person. But it, it, it's so you can, like, do, like, like, co-op randomizers. Let's see. Let me, let me fire up the game. Yeah, split up and get things done. It make it makes the randomizer go by faster. Let me put OBS on a different thing. Discord! What the hell is this? This isn't 90s accurate. Why is there Discord? Oh, wait, one moment. What is this? Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires. Flooding. Black mold. Metamorphosis, what? Are you talking about the Dojin? No, wait, never mind, never mind. We're not gonna talk about that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not <laughs> we're not talking about that. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I have a collab with Nikki on, like, Friday. I know this is, like, really random. But, um, I was- I was talking to Nikki, and she was- she's, like, hyped about Pal World, and I found out it was, like, co-op. And so, like, I said- well, let me- let me- let me take a screenshot of what I said to her, because it kind of- <laughs> it kind of looked more intense than intended. One second. Is it? I wanted an update to the thing I picked. One second. Is Tower Co? I want to play together. If you want to play, I pick it up. And then I, I sent her like a random GIF I found, and I was like, somehow this cat GIF was more intense than intended. Like I'm gonna kill myself if you don't play with me. It kind, of, it kind of has that energy, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> but yeah, so we're we're playing together on Friday. That's what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna spend time together and play Pal World. But we're gonna we're gonna do it on her channel. Uh, I'm not gonna be streaming my perspective. We'll be we'll be hanging out on Nikki's channel. So you guys better show up Friday to Nikki's channel, or I'll stab you. All right, back to what we were doing. Um. This Discord, what does this do? What the hell? Oh no, it opens Discord on my computer. No! No, I don't want in your Discord. I've been tricked. I don't- don't tell me about anything about Pal World. Don't tell me anything. Nikki- Nikki specifically requested that I don't look up anything about it, alright? So tell me, tell me absolutely nothing about, in fact, moderators, if anyone, if anyone tries to, like, spoil anything about Pal World to me or tell me anything about it, just delete it, okay? Because I told her, I told her specifically I would look up nothing about the game. Welcome from HS. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased you have a you abroad, aboard, abroad, abroad. <laughs> no, why? Why am I trying to everything ab called everything abroad? We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties, and we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive the daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. I'm surprised you don't know anything. I, look, I, look, I just, I just don't pay attention to anything, okay? If it's not, or if something, if something's out of my very, like, niche set of autism, like, obsessions, I know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Touch and call team due to an error with our archival network. Some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleaned up in due time. Oh, well, that's not going to be ominous at all. Hmm. What am I doing? I already looked at the mailbox. One second. Monday! Yo, what the fuck is my other brother doing? He, like, stomped down the stairs and slammed the door shut. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Clocking in these nuts! Entry. Bed bugs, bees, black mold, carpenter, ants, cockroaches. Oh no, there is there's so much that could be wrong. Hmm. What do I do? Okay, there's like we got bed bugs. We got bees. Ah, oh, I got a call. Okay. Do I need to turn it off? Sounds like she might be a little quiet. During your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Intelligently? I can't do that. Call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Also, yeah, we got black mold, herpender ants. Cockroaches. Goki booty! That's a that's a Japanese word for cockroach. I don't know why I know that, but I do. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like 
she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffin to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Ah, forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Please hold. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's cockroaches. What a moment. I know your problem, sir. I'm smart. <clears throat> oh, let's do it. Yeah, we gophers. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Did I tell you guys? Okay, a long time ago, back when I was like with my ex, and I actually like lived in a house with them. We had we had a gopher infestation, and um. <laughs> I I was like I did like warfare on the gopher of playing like music at the gopher at nighttime to piss it off into leaving. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh it sounds kind of like e e e you know, it it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make mm. sure. Ee, 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 ee. Okay. Chad, okay, either, either, okay, it's a, it's mice or someone's having sex in her attic. In fact, she might, she might have a sex attic up there. Please laugh. Please laugh. That was funny. Come on. Please laugh. Please laugh. <laughs> Please, Please laugh. <laughs> Uh, mouse was chasing non marks, someone dropping sounds of squeaking. Alright, um. I don't think it's a mole. <laughs> I don't think it's a raccoon either. I think, I think it's literally just mice. I don't think we need to think about this too hard. Audio samples I could have been listening to. Oh, okay, well. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Please hold. Uh, hey, your neighbor is breaking into your yard and shitting on your in your backyard. Okay, it's not, it's not going to be a bug. It's probably going to be a... Uh, small nocturnal mammals, garbage, buff, garbage spills, clattering sounds at night. Okay, I don't, I think, don't think raccoons are giant shitters. What about moles? Um, did burrows, the burrows look like volcano shaped mounds? Wait, 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 wait. Get some crap in my yard, piles of crap in my yard, big, huge piles of brown. Oh, is he is he maybe talking about dirt? Oh, moment. We'll look at other options. Mm. 
All right, chat. It's either it's either a mole or a gopher. I'm gonna um. Instinct is saying mole. I will tell I will tell him he has a mole in his yard. Hey, I was right. Wee! I'm smart. I'm smart, chat. Look at me, I'm intelligent. Actually, I said I successfully sent the info. It doesn't doesn't tell me if I got it right, I don't think. So we may have been wrong. I don't know. My my refrigerator. Oh my god, chat, chat! Our fridge is on the loose. We gotta go get it. All right, I'll see you guys. Chat guys later. I need I need to end the stream to go catch my fridge. I'll I'll see you guys later. What is wrong with your face? You can't say that to me, Jesus. service or something. My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? What? What, 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 what am I... What am I supposed to submit for an answer for mowing lawns? Is there... a oh, moment. Um... Uh... Is there... You said... Wait, wait, wait. This says he's sick. One second. Um... Mm. I'm looking, mm. looking, looking through my options. Uh, house flight. Uh, no. Healing plane, okay. has a black mold problem. You need, to, you need to, your son is suffering from black mold.
You don't know me, but I have had your job before. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. I think, I think Mike's trying to trick me into getting his job back. Yeah, I was thinking maybe go first, but I wasn't sure. Do you have any new entries of fun new problems? No. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please Are you even real, Carol? ...is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Alright, what's our, what's our new pro- BADS?! <laughs> why are- why are- why are BADS hidden information? <laughs> what do you mean BADS are- what the fuck? They're not like eldritch creatures, they're BADS. Bed teeth? Wait, what? <sighs> Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. Dude, it's black mold. I already know it. I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Let me. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets. What the fuck? Okay. Hmm. Cellar growth, okay. Common however, because you should have found the household, they're humanoid creatures with grill. Okay, well. A desk cob. <laughs> what do you mean I could have like desk cob goblins? False beat, what? Pipe growth, uh, clog the pipe. Okay, I don't think that's it. Stair slug? What the fuck is a stair slug? Sir, I think, I think you have a black mold problem. Roman, welcome! Cause like, Black Bolt talks about like, allergy-like symptoms, so like, I can- I- I- I think- I think it was Black Bolt. I think that was the right answer. Fucking idiot! What is? What? What? What the fuck does this have to do with me? Ah, 
whatever. Fuck you. I hope your whole family dies. Okay, that was that was kind of mean. I shouldn't say that on the clock. Think that was a full beat. Uh, but we didn't we didn't have the option to choose that on that day. Like we we recently only got some of the stuff. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like maybe to disguise the robbery? At night I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Mm. Ma'am, I think I think you have some kind of goblin infestation. Let's see, what does, what does a common hob do? Uh, I found the cleaning them in the process. Okay, it might be a common hob. Hmm. It's checking other entries before I send that. Ma'am, you have a you have a goblin problem. I can't help you. Where's my next caller? I can't even watch YouTube on this piece of shit PC. Yo, Buzz Goober here. Been what a name. A time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Snappers Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. What? Uh, did you, did you hang up? How am I supposed to help you if you, like, fucking hang up on me? Actually, is that, like, the, the guy I got wrong? I don't fucking know. Kind of. What do you? What do you mean? Bed teeth. This is the what? What? It's 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 totally okay. I I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. All right, ma'am. I'm gonna have to have hold on for a moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, underside of the bed, she's blankets are covered, hitching, slime, okay, not harmful. Hmm, I don't think it's bed teeth. I don't, I don't, I don't, bed teeth doesn't really fit. There's something, so like, there's something crawling in our walls and there's teeth marks on our bed post. Um. Hmm. It could, it could weirdly just be something mundane like carpenter ants. I wish you would tell me like how big these teeth marks were. Mm. No, it's definitely not that. Does that, this is a heads up, just chill, chill a little bit on the back seating. Uh, let me, let me figure it out, please. Thank you. Uh, 
to type either her Fuck! Wait, maybe I should have fucking did the desk hop. Oh, she says it's very... Oh, whatever. Oh, it was probably a common hop. Mm. No, it's not that. Oh, shouldn't work to say any fractures. Definitely not a house fire. So, yeah, yeah, totally, totally a house fire. Ma'am, I think I think you just said carpenter ants. I think I think you're being a little little dramatic about some ants. Definitely, definitely ants. Every every everything is ants. Uh, food missing from your fridge, ants. Uh, your family dying in their sleep, ants. See, I'm really good at this. lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Uh, is that all the information you're gonna give me? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and... Is it is it carpenter ants again? Mm. I can't I can't just answer carpenter ants to everything, right? He said no dropping, so I don't I don't think it don't think it's bats. Cockroaches have dropping, so it's definitely not that. Hmm. Uh, he said no dropping, so it's not a mice. Sir, I, th I think you have a raccoon in your wall. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> mm. can, can I? Can I just answer carpenter ants for everything? Like I feel, I feel like I might be wrong, but every, yeah, everyone's problems is carpenter ants. <laughs> Dude, just like a real customer service job, I'm gonna fall asleep at the computer. Someone, call me. I'm bored. I want to tell you you have carpenter ants. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. Bob! What are you doing, Bob? Bob, what, what are you doing? Taunting me with your organization skills. I need oh my god, my cat Bob is in a life of crime. Up at night, uh, uh, taunting me with your organization. Maybe it's a desk cop since, it, since he's like talking about being a neat, maybe.
Mm. All right, I'm gonna, uh, sir, sir, I, I, I regret to inform you, but my 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 13 pound cat has broken into your house. Um, in order to counteract him, I need you to put a scarf down. <laughs> We did better, but it's still not. not uh, eh. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like probably one of the carpenter ant answers weren't right. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, I need someone to mod World of Horror and make Bob a character. I need I need my cat Bob as a character in World of Horror. Sounds like Animal Crossing music. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh, 84 cake? Wow, that's a that's a fucking steal. Well, it's a, it's the '90s, so this is this is before housing prices got crazy. Can we alert a civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties: Bush County, Maple Company, Parkway Co County, Berry County. That sounds like a whole lot of... Missing persons alert authorities <laughs> are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male Robbie Oh, it's an Amber Robbie alert, okay. Four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub. What? Wait. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What do you mean he was wearing a giant shrub? <laughs> <laughs> did, someone, did someone hide in a line of bushes, like, wearing a shrub and just, like, jump out and kidnap a kid? L you know, every everyone needs a hobby, Chad. Who am I to judge? It's too late for you now. Why do I feel like this is, like, uwu speech? They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe in there. Uh, let's see. Attention call team. Our network team is m migrating our backend services over to a new, new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully and still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with the client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network's test. Fuck, I actually have to remember shit? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Chat! Chat, I have to use my brain. What do we do? I don't- I don't want to use my brain! Just be here. I'll just tell everyone they have carpenter ants. That's my, that's my solution. Car everyone has carpenter ants. Dude, actually, I would I would live in a haunted house if it was cheap. I don't know. Ghosts don't scare me. I think they would just be like mildly annoying. Like I don't I don't care about ghosts. Like they would just they would just be like a mild annoyance to me. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. 
We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. How is such a bad I've got to live with them. Dude! Yo! I, okay, like, would you... Okay, if they're... It, okay, if like if a house is like 12k and like the basement was like boarded up and locked up and like the person selling the house is like under any circumstances do not open the basement. Would you still buy it? I'd still buy it and I'd just be like I'm just not gonna go in the fucking basement. Who cares? It's like cheap living. In this economy, I would do it. Boggart? <laughs> Boggart? That sounds like that sounds like a horrible term for something. There's something in the basement. Oh well, speak of that. <laughs> it doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is, since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Please hold. Hmm. I'm gonna force hold. They are large, hairy humanoids, six, seven feet tall, false faces, causing household accidents. Um. Yeah. Wood secretions. Uh. Okay, whatever. Wine sprite? Uh known for consuming wine. <laughs> that's a chat, that's just me. That's just me in someone's house. <laughs> mm. Unicorn flying rare horn sheet fungus grow on the heads of furry mammals. Okay. Um toilet hob, what the fuck? I don't like that. Homing inside toilets, they bear false faces. Uh, like most dogs, they tend to clean their homes and act up and keep the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless. Okay, well. Hmm. Known for fetal tea, tea leaf residue, leaf like droppings, sounds of fluttering near kitchens. Uh, okay. Mirror nymph, uh, known for stealing likeness of homeowners and past surprise generally small, faceless, voiceless humanoids carrying large mirrors. Okay, I'm not worried. Don't think it's that. Um... Memory... Moving memories from the home. Okay, so... Flicker or burn hotter. Okay. False rosebush. Uh, take a piece of red rosebush. The roots of these creatures. Two small humanoid feet. Okay, no, it's definitely not that. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I probably should listen to it since it said there is an error. Which one was the one with the error? I wasn't paying attention. Was it the lamp sprite? Slime residents on the dripping. Uh, I didn't really say anything about like strange uh, glowing, so. Hmm. Something mm. as big as his dog. 
Large, hairy, six to seven feet tall. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's it. It could be a common hob. That's always that's always a possibility. It's a mole either. Hype growth and uh, mm. I don't think that's it. Uh. Dude, is it <laughs> is it just a raccoon? Do you just have a raccoon in your basement? I don't, I don't know what kind of dog he has, like, it, like, mm. Dwa! Dog size slugs! Oh wait, uh, sterile is a basement, so we're fed steer slugs, call their pets slightly residue and steps around the house and, uh, frequently feed on other pests, such as, uh, buh, 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 maybe, maybe, um... I think I think this guy has a stair slug, dude. You got a you got stair slug. Which kind of kind of sounds like a weird sexual thing, but like I don't know, man. Maybe, it sounds like an STD. Like you go you go to the doctor and they're like, I diagnose you with a case of stair slug. Like that. It doesn't that sound like an STD. It sounds like an STD to me. Like extra pretty today. How do, how do I look extra pretty? This is <laughs> this is the model I use every day. I'm confused. It's still crawling in the walls. Those instructions you said didn't work at all. Oh, okay, I, I guess it wasn't carpenter ants. Damn, Jesus woman, all right. Well, it wasn't carpenter yet. Michelle, Michelle needs to learn to chill a little bit. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Mmm, stinky, stinky faucet? Stinky bathroom faucet? Alright, sir, oh. give, me, give me a moment. Sorry for the local city because it's fairly realistic, so the calls you've spoken about. Yeah, you know, I could see that. Um, there was like a faucet hob a moment. Hmm. 
Uh, hob known for being on tube-like sock structures such as pipes. They bear no false face, much smaller. Merge from their homes at night and consume any dirt, grime, or hair on the strong area, cleaning the process. Well, okay, he says it's stinky, right? Alright, nasty, nasty sound, nasty smell. So I don't, I don't think it's a pipe hob because a pipe hob cleans. Um, let me, oh yeah, let me, let me go back and look at frozen pipes real quick. Uh, water inside pipes causing stubs to home with frozen pipes or where strange faucet smells banging and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakage. Okay, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Could be frozen pipes. Pipe girls uh, making homes inside damp tube like structures grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit. They will therefore clog the pipes indefinitely until their removal. Mm, I feel I feel like you would tell me there sounds like a horrible abomination growling in my pipes. Hmm. Just I guess we can just say frozen pipes. I'm all, I'm all to go with frozen pipes. Where is it? Damn, I'm great at my job, I swear. Sounds like he has a mirror nymph. I can't see her face. She did it. I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Clearly, carbon monoxide. For you're right. You're right. It is, it is mm -hmm. carbon. Oh, oh my. Uh. Sir, you don't. You don't need your wife anymore. I have a mirror, a mirror nymphomaniac for you. No, I'm kidding. Stealing your own face it doesn't see it says about stealing someone else's face, so I don't know if that's it. Mm. Or is Hustle West known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners? If that's the Malfair Report, missing pictures, photos, and Billy members, the faces of loved ones. Yo, I think this might be it. All right, I think, Sarah, I think you have a memory wisp. They'll move out of the house once they've stolen away the inhabitants' memories. That's fucked up, dude. Like, uh, you're not. We're not gonna tell them to like move out or leave. We're just gonna let all their memories be taken. Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what the hell are you talking about? What you gonna do to make this right? Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Huh? I think it's a Prinkle. Yeah, it's a Prinkle. Fred Pinball. Is it is there a joke about Fred Pinball I'm not getting? Like is it is there is there a joke about the name going over my head? Fred Pinball, Fred Pinball, Fred Pinball. Fred Pimple. Fred Pimple? Fred Pimple. Uh, hi. I diagnose I, uh, you with nerd. I have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like Yo, you crazy. got bed teeth. I know exactly what your problem is. Or something. <laughs> well, you I probably should shower more. Are you Actually, do you do you participate in Magic the Gathering tournaments? Shower like once a week for my skin health. Okay, all right, all right. You need a you have bed teeth and also you need to you need to shower and put on some deodorant. Please hold. Once a week. Yeah, even even I shower at least three times a week. <laughs> Oh my god, are you I'm single? I'm this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. I have, I have, I, have, I can, I can fix your problem with my ginormous cock! I'm sorry, sure. sorry, sorry. I, I didn't mean to sexually harass you. And sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. Oh my so, god, you I'm have a enough. cat? We were, we were meant to be together. Marry me so I can pet your cat. Um, the wall has cracks, or maybe it's peeling. Um... Please hold. Maybe, like, one of those fracture hob thingies. Hmm... Hmm... Another option might be like, uh, what is it? Uh, cracks, cracks. Hmm. King, that you were the follow. Let's see. Carpenter ants. Yeah, you're right. It's carpenter ants. It's always carpenter ants. Ma'am, I, th I think you have a raccoon in your walls. Oh, I just wanted to read termites real quick. Uh... She says she says peeling, but I don't think that is. I think I think it's a I think it's like a the fracture hob thing. I think that's the answer. Termites are evil. When I went, when I was really, really little, we had like a massive termite infestation that I noticed, and we actually had to like abandon house because it was no longer safe to live in. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. 
your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out. But now. did you but did you like leave out a bowl of cream, sir? Did you did you actually like do that or did you not do that? Um uh, weird noises coming from the living room. Bowl of cream, what kind of joke? Uh we only have power outages. Mm -hmm. Alright, a oh, moment, sir. Dude, I do. I think I think your wood is horny and it's secreting pink stuff. Oh, um. Where's the f the boggart? Oh, moment. What is this deal? Um. Electrical outages, dude. I think you have a boggart because you didn't you didn't fucking listen to our advice. So you have you only have yourself to blame. There you gotta you gotta you gotta bogger. Ew, I stitch. <sighs> what the hell? 93.333 Fuck you! Fuck you! I feel like the game's rigged. It's rigged to keep me from getting 90%. Actually, give me one second chat. I need to use the bathroom. I'll be one moment. <laughs>
Try to Google Bud T. Am I? <laughs> what do you, dude? If there was something as fucking weird as bed teeth in existence, everyone would know about it. Like. Like I feel I feel like that'd be something everyone would just know about. Does this game we're at we're we're basically like a help hotline diagnosing people's home issues. Ah, uh, chat, we have a new video to watch. Sounds like getting a toothy BJ in bed. Oh god. Dude, I'm so sad. I will never be a lighthouse keeper. That's like that's like my dream fantasy job is lighthouse keeper. Is <laughs> that dull? <laughs> Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as, as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A the smart wait what? Species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly. It's increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. They're, they're just saying the gamer story. words. <laughs> what do you think? It sounds like basically the same. What are you talking about? Things that aren't there. Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. What's in our mailbox? Introducing our new office pet. Are you saying just brand new office? Whiskers. Wait. 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 Didn't that lady have a cat named Whiskers? Did we? Did we steal her cat? Um. Did Whiskers a warm look? Up? Please refrain for picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is getting to know her when the office has scheduled feeding time. So, yo, if anything happens to this cat, I'm gonna cry, chat. I want you guys to know if anything happens to this fucking virtual cat, I will fucking cry. Dude, I don't care if my job might get me killed. There's a there's a pet cat in the office. What more do I need? I don't care. <laughs> ah, no place best on the cat's fate. If anything happens to the cat, I'm gonna fucking cry. This is this is exactly the reason I can't play RimWorld, because I get really sad if virtual cats die. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Our eyes rest upon- why are you- why are you talking like a Cthulhu abomination, woman? Attic gnome? Uh, nesting night ceiling somewhere infected with attic gnomes. So They'll often report I was reading! I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. 
Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds Wait, of Wait, I think he has a beat problem. Water, so, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? I think I think you ate something that was I think I think one of I think one of your uh, thingies were possessed. Cellar grotto. Yo, wait! I love grottos. There's 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 chests in there to like. He says the tarry shark. Omo, Omo, you can't use good anymore. They changed the meaning. It doesn't doesn't mean a something awful person anymore. <laughs> You know, very space fun and uh, put in your eating areas in the home. Headaches for your eye discoloration. That's definitely not it. What is it? There's a, there is like a beat thingy. Oh wait, they're in alphabetical order. Where is it? Mm. False beat. Beat like appearance known to trick gardeners and harvesting them, disguise themselves among their vegetables. Um, harmless those eaten by human point, they take the root in human stug, feed on nutrients for a lifetime. Mmm. Cause digestive issues and potential back problems over... Okay, uh... Bumming bugs, aches and pains constantly after a month still hasn't gone away. Okay, it might... it might be a beat. He might have a beat problem. The Horde? There might be a World of Warcraft player here. Hmm. Laundry gnome. Night gnome, uh, ten Santa's sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Portal, uh, cold draft, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. <laughs> Your house seems to be infested with WoW players, sir. Yeah, that like once you once you have a WoW player infestation, you're not getting rid of them. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the full speed. I think I think that's what his problem is. I think he has I think he he has a beat issue. Tell me that. I don't give a shit. And you think I give a fuck, ma'am? I don't give a single fuck. Yeah, she was all with the kitty. She didn't. She didn't report her cat missing or anything. So I guess I don't know. I guess I guess we didn't steal her cat. So I, uh, hope I got 
out the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. Wait, wait, it's a night gnome. Night, night gnome, I think we know it. Every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Please hold. Where is it? Where is it? Night gnome, night gnome. You got a night gnome. Don't fuck it, because that's kind of weird. Let's see. Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. Um. No for tense, they enter the sleeping quarters. Humans who watch them while they sleep. Homeowners expect a night for report settings in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. I I think I won't wait, wait, wait. what did it was a night no sound like All right man I think I think you have an infestation of night gnomes No need to thank me. I'm always right. Except for when I'm not, but I'm always right. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. My friend was sending me something. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Nah, oh, just give me, give me one moment, uh, ma'am, sir. I don't know which one. I just give me, give me a moment. Okay, banging, banging in the ceiling. Bad air quality. Let's see. Attic gnome. Uh, attic ceilings. Uh, port knocking or rapping. Surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. Mm, could be an attic gnome. Mm. Mm. Those are sellers. That's not gonna be it. Um... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mm, no, no. Night gnome? What's a night gnome? Actually, we already did this one. It's definitely not that. Um... Ma'am, you have a... You, ha you have a raccoon in your ceiling? I'm kidding. <laughs> Say attic gnome. Woo! I'm sorry, I'm sleepy all the time. Maybe it's just a really big cat. I don't know, man. So they said they were having breathing problems, so I think I think it was an attic gnome.
can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Wait, what? For bees? Oh, Kelly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Um, eight year old. Last time I saw him tuck him into bed last night and check his messy closet for bees. Please hold. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this information? Hive structure, uh, Vesta, someone buzzing or freaking bee sightings. Um. What the fuck am I... What the hell am I supposed to do with this information? It's on a bush. There, there's something else for eating children around here. Just tell her it's bees. <laughs> Ma'am, ma your son was right. The bees got him. <laughs> mm. There is something else that eats children. Um... Sure, she'll believe you. Mm. Mm. So for only the false rose bush is the only thing I found so far that eats children. It's gotta be a go for your right. Nothing wrong. Even even if Whiskers did like eat that child, it was probably for a good reason. Mm. Man, I, I don't. I, I, a pack of raccoons got to your child.
I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of Yay, my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. Yo, I, I think it's a it's a hot thingy. Owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. All right, sir, your house is infested with the hob that likes cheese. Oh. One moment, where is it? Uh, no desk hob. What is it? I think it's a fracture hob. Yeah. Okay, sir. I know your problem. You have a fracture hob, and you need to start leaving out some cheese right now. Boom! Easy! I think, I think this guy is a prank caller. What are you talking about? I was so confused. Well, okay, whatever. Was it? Uh, well, it was nothing. I don't have to. I don't have to diagnose that guy's issue. That sounded weird. That ringing. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing. I guess. Um. So I've recently been having just the worst headaches and just mm -hmm, barely mm -hmm. I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Yo, I'm wait. Like out right now and I'm not Bro, sure you I have fey fever, I, I think. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Please help. All right, is it? All right, is it fey flu? No, it can't be loaded. You you definitely have fey flu though. I I diagnose you with that. One second, where is it? Pink eye. No, 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 no. We're not we're not gonna like diagnose him with like conjunctivitis because that would make sense. No, he has fey flu. No, I don't- I don't think the calls are AI-generated. I think it just, like, I think it's just the vibe of the game. Did you find the bush? Did you find the bush, ma'am? Was it was it the bush? Was I right? Anyways. Mm. Ah. <laughs> no, don't be mean to Dermal. Come on. Well, that was actually a port. Yeah, I could have been wrong, but you know. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Do you just have termites? 
You may, you may literally just have termites, my dude. It's those small holes, though. Gobl Goblin is such a good dog name. I like that. Mm. Holes everywhere. So there are big wooden splinters. Okay. Um... Broken floorboards, um... Digging around inside their home, does that mean they're making holes? Burrowing outside planners, feeding on their roots. No, it's not it. Hmm. Night West? Uh, no, I don't think that's it. Um. Grow upwards from the floor? Okay. Um... No... doesn't say anything about holes in the wall, though. So confused. The, the, bah, bah, bah. I guess, I, the, you just I, uh, termite. I'll just, I'll, I'm tempted to say you just says termites. No, 
<laughs> Fuck it, whatever, dude. You just, you just have, you just have goddamn termites. We're just, we're just gonna say that. There you go. Come on, come on, issue. I don't know what happened to your dog, but eh, it's fine. vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants looks like a gosh darn nursery in there oh uh, there is well, something that was like doing it is, oh is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something i can't i can't believe she would say such fucked up things yeah she really she really needs to like watch her watch her language what was it called hmm. no burying out their plants nope it wasn't that oh um, where is it Am I dumb and just skipping over it? It's around here somewhere. It's on a bar art and a carbon monoxide. Hmm. No, definitely not that. No, it's not that. Mm. Am I going to say there is literally something that causes shit to grow? I'm losing it. Um. <laughs> It's not a fracture. Mm. It's all lamp spray. God, what the hell is it called? I think it says the travel gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. She just said she came back from traveling. Okay, never mind. This is probably it. Where is it? Travel gnome. Ah, sorry. I was so sleepy all the time. Oh. When, where's my next caller? 
I want to tell you you have termites because that's my answer for everything. Well, I got good news and bad news. Bad news is the info you sent wasn't any help at all, so, uh, thanks for that. Good news is I found Goblin. She freaking came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something, so I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for trying, I guess. Oh no! Was it was it the unicorn fungus? Wait, what the hell? Why is that the oh, moment? Hmm. No. Uh, okay, I guess when he said holes, I guess that was I guess it was the dog digging. Okay, I see. I see. I get it. Look, if he just said, he just said holes, though, like, usually he would say, like, I don't know. Oh, my God. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck that guy. There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there. Yeah, I think I know what it is. It's like something grotto. damage. Send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. But dude, Please I have help. the sleepiest operator. Instead of helping you, I'm gonna go to bed. Sellers, bad smell, humidity, no seeing large beetle frogs. Let's see. Humidity. Okay, okay, I think it's a cellar grotto. I think we know what it is. Bam! We're good at our job. No! Come on, man! What the fuck? I feel like the accuracy is a lie. We finished, we finished our job on Thursday. We finished our Thursday job. Why am I so sleepy? Dude, give me a second. I'm gonna put on my Snorlax, uh, Kikurumi, because I'm kind of cold. Give me a moment.
I'm back. Give me a sec. I'm gonna take some Tylenol because my head hurty. Give me a moment. Sorry, I thought I heard something weird. So look, look what you did. You guys gave me a head. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me take my down though. Ah. Alright, what's in my mailbox? Don't come at the fall. Uh, the fall is breached head. Repat, the head is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. I have no idea what that means. Regarding your schedules, we do short available staff. We need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized. Oh god, okay, fine. It's Friday, Friday. I don't know how the stupid song goes, but you know. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Fuck, I just heard a scream. <sighs> a moment, chat. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy oh. continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have mm. updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Mm, give me, give me, give me one second. I'll be right back. It was just some kids playing. I just, I just, I just want to make sure nothing bad was going on. It was just some kids playing. Animation, uh, miniatures such as dolls, puppets, marionettes, capable of moving on their own. Hmm. Alright. Closet Labyrinth. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragons. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ma'am, if you're if your child's playing D D, there's no hope for him. Yeah, they give you the follow. Uh, ma'am, has he has he been playing World of Warcraft as well? Oh, let's see. Classics and wardrobes. Okay, I don't think that's it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was it was some 
kids outside with their parents and they're just screaming for god knows what reason. Either way, they weren't they weren't in danger, so We've dreams, uh dream about everything being covered in webs. Okay. Second, this spider has a sleep inducing venom. How do how do I get one of those in my house? Wait, hold up. I th that might work better than my Ambien. I need I need one of these in my house. False flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common household plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often repair, report hearing faint singing. Hmm. Okay. Cobbled! Yeah, yeah, parents should discourage that, but sometimes- sometimes kids are just gonna scream and you can't really do anything about it. Like, they- they didn't- they didn't scream a ton, so their parents probably told them to knock it off, but, you know, like, you- like, kids just scream sometimes. Like, they saw- they sounded like a pretty- they were- they seemed like pretty young kids, so... It happens. Cobbles are five-foot humanoid creatures with dog-like faces known to burrow into dark rooms or claw strange closets, making their own home. Homeowners infested with cobbles will sometimes report broken floorboards. Dude, oh my god, when I was a kid, um, my brothers and my dad uh, played this, like, tabletop role-playing game called Cobbles Ate My Babies, and they invited me to play. <laughs> And, um, I- I remember I was, like, in- like, in this innkeeper's house and I was trying to steal their baby from the second floor. And, um, they were- they were, like, about to come in the room and, like, I don't know why in my- in my six, seven-year-old brain... I was like, okay, I throw the baby out the window! <laughs> And one of my brothers had to roll a d20 to see if they caught the baby or not. Ugh. Perhaps you have to discover at which point they'll lash out violently and protect their home, causing injury or even death. The discovered kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like head dog -like heads out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not enter a kobold's domain. Did they catch it? Uh, they did it. Uh, we had a- we had a- we had a deceased baby on our hands in the tabletop game, which was bad, cause like... I think- I think the plot is we were taking him home to the Kobold King, and we- the- the baby had to be alive. Uh, rain nymphs are a subspecies nymphs that are known to be active during rainstorms. They are faint human noise of the glow in their eye that often appear near windows and doors, asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs will often report flooding. But Riona hasn't changed one bit. What is it? What is that supposed to mean? Actually, you know what? I should I should like find the Cobalt Ate My Baby tabletop game rules, and I should convince some people to play with me. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that could that could be really fun. Like if I could if I could convince <laughs> some VTubers to like come come play Cobalt Ate My Babies and let me DM a game. That could be fun. Bob, I hear you. Mm. Soap sprite, what? 
So sprays are a substance that's spray known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap, in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Uh, soap sprays, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them. Making them a serious household hazard. Okay. They are easy to remove and dispose of by using tongs or other grabbing utensils. And donating soap sprays can be difficult, so it's recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the house to ensure they can be... Identified and removed. Okay. Chat, you've heard it. You've heard it. Bars of soup. Dangerous. Hand me your fucking wallet. Come on the lawn. Thank you for resubbing. Thank you for supporting me for two months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Spray trees are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in the human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow. Generally reaching their full size in a matter of days, they are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while, tree while it is growing in an indoor location has risk of injury or death from structural damage that occurs as it grows. Okay. Did I say bars of soup? I bars of soap. I can't speak English. English hard. No cure for a spray tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstances. Wait! Wait! Your child's a tree! One moment. Um, uh, gone for days now and there's... I find a tree going in my shed covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. I think we know what it is. Uh, spring vines. Uh, da, 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 da. Rapidly growing vines. Uh, I figure we should read the other ones that are new because, like, there's a chance we might not be able to read them later. Spring vines are not dangerous on their own and they can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry. Trash Nope! Yo, chat! They have an entry on me! Oh my god! Look at him! Oh my god, the Trash Nope is cute! Large gaping mouths and seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with Trash Gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs. Finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching noises at night. Isn't that just a raccoon? Highly territorial once homed, while their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances such as the loss of a finger or nose. While attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from a receptacle, they are capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans such as rabies or tetanus. Are you sure this is- Dude, are you sure this just isn't like a fucking raccoon? Alright, it's a- it's a sprig tree. Your son's dead, ma'am. Stream got choppy for a minute. Yeah, that happens. Sometimes- my internet's, like, pretty stable, but usually once per stream it, like, freaks out a little bit. What's the entry on raccoon say? What- it, what's the difference between a trash dome and a raccoon? I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Mm, I think you have like a hob in your kitchen. I love it. Please hold. There's like, there like some kind of hob that hangs out in the kitchen, I think. Mm. 
Known dirt dust, sticky stone senses, and dishes. Okay. Boggart, no, no, no. Closet lever, no. Cockroaches, no. Not a fracture hob. Um, house fire, no. Cobalt, no. Hmm. How do I tell the difference between a common hob and a, like a pipe hob? Hmm. Clattering noises coming from the kitchen. Oh, that's true. I could I could try the audio. You're right. I should use that. Um. Where is it? Pipe pop. Hmm. Mm, that kind of sounds like a clattering noise. Um. What, what sound does the common hop make? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, there was a trash hall, a trash thingy, trash gnome or something. One moment. No, they don't have an audio. I guess I'll say pipe pop. Pipe hop and like common hop don't seem to have like a whole lot of difference, I can really tell. Mm. Stretching. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I have sleepy bitch disease help. Something that sings. I know what it is. For all we know, all they do is sing at night. But no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. This is, this is like she she's lying in bed at night, and this is what she hears. To the window, to the world, to the world, to the sweat of my balls. Like that's what that's <laughs> that's what she's hearing at night. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> that's, that's what she's hearing at night.
Uh, there might be, there might be something else. I think one of the nymphs also sings. One second. Mm -hmm. No, this has to be one side. Um. Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. All they do is sing at night, none of the family feels safe anymore. Um... No, no, I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I was just listening to it real quick. The one I think it might be is this one. Buzzing noises. No, I don't think that's it. Yeah, I think it's probably the false flower. We'll go with that. That's my, that's my guess. Worst operas color really from the 90s. Oh, yeah, how long ago was that? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, YouTube chat or Velvet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so horrible about reading my YouTube chat. <laughs> oh my god. I really, I really do like neglect the fuck out of my YouTube chat. Like, I just keep forgetting to look at it. Wait, what? Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now now easy there. Get away! Get away! Hmm. Problem. I don't have to worry about it. Rat's got yeah, the rat the rats ate his body. There's nothing we could do for him. He's dead. He's deceased. To the window! To the wall! To the wall! To the sweat drops at my balls! Hello! Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular, disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. A blight upon thee! What is it? Is my, is my employer, like, really enthusiastic about Dungeons and Dragons? Like, she keeps, she keeps talking like she's a fucking D&D &D character. Yeah, you can you can stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. They change they changed their um policy on that, so I just I just do it mainly so I can like <laughs> like I don't have to upload vods if I stream to YouTube. Like I don't have to think about it. <laughs> What do you mean? Awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come 
find this thing and get it out of my house. Big nasty thing fly through the window and a burning so Oh wait, wasn't there like a lamp thingy, lamp sprite mm -hmm. or something? Oh. Hmm. I can't read it anymore, but I think I think it's a lamp sprite. I think that's your problem, sir. Strangled her, didn't it? it now your daughter's eyes. dead. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please your daughter's help. dead. I hope you took a life insurance policy out on her so you could cash out. Hmm. Hmm. Grow slow. Hmm. Says by morning, the dolls and their roots should be gone. Yeah, I, th I think it's floor roots. I think I think that's what took his kid a moment. Well, your daughter's dead, and well, on on the bright side, you're gonna save a lot of money, sir. <laughs> your child sorry to yeah exactly someone call me okay there we go I just had to, I just had to start whining is this pixelated bukkake no, that just got sent anymore. to me Oh, it's a it's a mirror nymph thing. I'm gone. Help me! Help get me back, please! I know exactly what your problem oh. is, Bam. Where is it? Oh, mirror nymph. Nice little well, faceless and voiceless humanoids. Large mirror. Um, port not being able to recognize their own face. What, Nana? Why are you, why are you, like, all capsing my name? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. So I feel like, at least you, yeah, like, dude, like, uh, if you, if you lose a child, you'll save a lot of money. Like, think about it. They don't have to pay your college education anymore. I'm so sleepy. Can I can I get a next caller, please, before I pass out? Thank you. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles. Oh wait, I know what it is. It's a it's a household thing. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So. I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Deal with the proper authorities to deal with this matter Please properly. Well, it was like a household something. Where is it? The horde, maybe? Yeah, 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 the horde. Store trash is spreading to heaven's run food. Use syringes, rusty metal. Okay. Um.
Where is it? The horde. The horde. For the horde. There you go. You pick. You pick the right side in World of Warcraft. We haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Hmm. Please hold. Isn't that just like a night wisp? Uh, bright flooding nights, I'll run outside windows, uh... Mm, he doesn't afford any whispering, but let me, let me look at our other options real quick. Not that, not a travel note, not a trash, not a toilet hob, not text, not termites, not a key sprite, not a stair slug. Not a soap, not a rain, not a raccoon, not a portal, not a pipe, not a pipe growth. Um, memory wisp, no. Floor roots, no. False rose bush, no. False flower, no. False beet, nope. False artifact, no. I don't think so, but I'll check again. Hmm. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's a wisp thingy. Night gnome? I don't think that's it. No, they don't do a light thingy. Where is it? Uh, wisp something. Wisp something. Where is it? Night wisp. Yeah, we've had stair slugs before. Uh, okay, who is it now? Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah. I think I think I need to That's go a portal. The wind feels so nice. Please yeah, whatever whatever you do, don't step in the portal. There is like two things it could be. I think it's probably a portal, but there is also an option. Outdoor location. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, the, the, it's, a, it's like a one-day work week thing, I think. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a portal. We'll go with that. Where is it? Probably go through Gladys is out there. But there but there's cake in there. We have to we have to go through the portal. There there's cake. What? Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know? And I could see something slithering under, near the sink. With its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils. Or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking... 
fucking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Hmm. Maybe it's not something we read about. Please hold. Mm, is it called? Bacteria. Uh, so it's like substance. Uh... Mm, no, it doesn't quite sound like that. Let me look around. Hime! Welcome! Welcome, Hime! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Mm. Near the sink. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a pipe hob. Known for making homes. Um... Mm. I just said tendrils, though. I didn't see anything was clean. So I didn't say anything about a moving thingy thing. Maybe that's a laundry gnome? One moment. Very sheep, dirty towels. Um, that doesn't seem right. Not that, not that, not that. Not a travel gnome. Hmm. Oh, trash gnome. No, 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 it's not a tear, tear spray. Uh, it's not a stair slug. thinking uh it's a it's a horror game where we're like we're like a we're like a helpline operator and we're trying we're trying to figure out what people's problems are mm. bob i hear you dude just give me a second oh see no it doesn't seem right either Night in the middle of the night, you know, uh, I could see something slithering under the near the sink with its like little tendrils or something. But when I turned on the lights, there was nothing there. I checked under the towel, like under you know that like that little soap thing. But everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain, so it's still gotta be hiding here.
Hmm. No, it's not. It's not cockroaches. for soap spread again real quick. Known for considering bacteria. Pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. Secreta suds like substances used to digest their meals. Uh, frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them make them serious household hazard. Soap sprays are easy to remove and dispose of. Um... But the fact that it says, like, little tendrils is what makes me think it's not a soap sprite. Make sure it has them. Uh, I guess I guess we'll go with soap spray because I really don't have a better idea. One moment. If he calls about angry, it's your fault, chat. By the way, just letting you know. Ah, right, we got ninety percent accuracy. We finally did it. We finally did not suck at our job. We've done it, chat! What's this? Ah, hikes! I can't- dude, I am literally- <laughs> if, if I go on a hike, I don't know what it is. If I walk out in the forest, I legitimately break out in hives all over my body. Like, I, I'm allergic to the outdoors. It's kind of sad. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide will show you how you can be the best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Frida! Frida, 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 Frida! Thank you for the raid! Frida, Frida. Frida, Frida. <laughs> Those cotton candy eyes, I kinda do. They kinda do seem cotton candy-ish. What are you up to, Frida? Big challenge, you want to ensure you come prepared with the supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trails ahead. We're playing a horror game. We're like, we're, we're a helpline operator. We're trying to tell people what's wrong. Talking about your eyes look like cotton candy. I've always wanted to eat them. Well, I mean, I eyes are filled with like a jelly-like substance, so it, it would be like it would be like a forbidden gusher. <laughs> An iron sword? Wait, why would I want to bring an iron sword on a hike? Wait, hold up. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. What do, what do we need a sword for, though? The trail. What's on, what's on the trail? Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peaks. Pace yourself as you progress as both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be 
Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. That's what, that's what my teacher used to say when I was in preschool. It was the quiet zone. Ah! I'm kidding. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Wait, uh, is there like a goblin in there with a foot fetish? I'm on to you. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop! Follow the lights. Do not stray. But the teacher didn't drop rocks on you if you made noise. Maybe she did. Dude, I have, like, brain damage or something. <laughs> I act like I have brain damage. Maybe someone did drop rocks on my head. If you hear the sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. <laughs> Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. Yeah, yeah, common, common hiking equipment. You gotta bring an iron sword. You made it, now enjoy the view. My hiking katana. Yeah, you need a, you need a katana for when you go hiking, man. We watched the hiking guide video. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline as of 4 30, 1996. Wait, that's tomorrow though. Wait. <laughs> Well, I guess, well, I guess, I guess you could like fire someone at a future date by say, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was confused. All right. Congratulations, your high accuracy awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Hag Hide. Um, you can't, you can't take that from me. Come on, you can't, you can't take that from me. I need that. So it's curly free from the parish and treat it with their flower scented formula. These are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your beds in bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply type the following code into your online checkout. Haglin for deals. <laughs> Haglin for deals. That's pretty good. Keep up the great work, employee. All right, it's time to, time to clock in. I'm legally sleepy. All right, clock in. Let's go. Let's go help some people. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I've had a super runny nose lately, but I'm not sick or anything. Park employee, Len 9 ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy what? body. 
Prepare thy body. What does what does that mean? Are you uh, Carol? Carol, I'm gonna I'm gonna contact HR. I think you're sexually harassing me. All right, we have autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange and red leaves that are known to grow in slowly over a house, frequently occurring in the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines offer a report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines released in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove autumn vines from household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Oh wait, I know what it is. It's a wine spirit. Please hold. Let's see where the wine spirit. Small, large-eyed winged creatures. Uh, they have long they use to drink, pro broken glasses, and their wine having a rotten taste or smell. Their shears flapping and they have winged. Uh, you have you have wine spirits or wine sprites. That's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna message Moriko and tell her to stop getting fucking trashed at people's houses. Bed hag. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatuses. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night. Hey, yeah, thanks for nothing. I called again recently about some kitchen noises, and your people once again sent me bad info. Maybe vet your people better. I'll be going for help elsewhere. Dude, he gave me fucking vague ass descriptions. To now. Goodbye. Whatever. Not my problem. Bed hags are not dangerous to both healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I had to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Ding so I have him. Maybe it's a wood leaking thing? Oh, Please moment. Hold. Oh, where is it? Hmm. Sometimes form wood that has been treated, drip from wood material, such as furniture walls, kind of sticky. Uh, it can be deadly humans causing rapid flash, translation of flash. Ah, uh, yep, it's, uh, it's, you got, you got wood secretions, ma'am. Uh, what's a warlock remnant? Uh, warlock remnants are a residual presence often left by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older homes, castles, and underground dwellings. Homeowners experience warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own. The sound of hostile warning whispers or sighting of bearded figures and reflected fe in reflective surfaces. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Huh. Weird. Please hold. Uh. No, uh, that's a troll. Uh, giant twelve foot nocturnal creatures. I think. I think they would. I think they would be telling me a twelve foot thing was outside their window.
We play coding, they rarely seen in households, reside primarily inside the trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spirits often commonly report rapid vine growth in around their homes and feeling the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree with the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked, however, take precautions to prevent provoking a spring. Refrain from moving trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may be grown on your property. Oh, I think I think yeah, I think he has a spriggan infection. Uh, reanimations are deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Foul smell, soils being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground that appear near and around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous disease and parasites deadly to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. Um... Puka? <laughs> What the, what the fuck is a puka? Puka are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit the homes in the shape of the likeness of a household pet. They have their tendency to replace common pets such as cat dogs or cats. And live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can come as great pests and disease. Ah! No! If someone's cat dies, I'm gonna cry. Neighbor's door, eh? Uh, neighbor's door and door frame structures that often appear at basements or cellars. They're known to cause confusion of step through as well as parallelism. Neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will also result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories of the human who comes through the other side. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them, and potentially triggering the parallel activity is advised to utilize each of the doorway removal services. Uh... Leprechaun! Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechauns' appetite for precious metals can cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where the homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacement. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, is Rebecca okay? Basically, recommend to use us. What do we have? Dorcha? Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners paid Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They also may experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorcha deliver which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless and seeks humans it does not seek. Or Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. Okay. To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you are a loved one or sought by Dorcha, is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. What the fuck does that mean? Alright, dude, you have a spriggan. I got a fight with a leprechaun after it attempted to steal my catalytic converter. Yo, maybe that's what happens. Like, that, that, there's leprechauns in the neighborhood staring, ca stealing catalytic converters. Nikki Nyada! Nikki Nyada, Nikki Nyada, Nikki Nyada. Chat, 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 chat. Just as a heads up, Friday, I'm gonna be playing Pal World with Nikki Nyada. Don't tell me anything about the game because I promise to look up nothing. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? 
Uh, wasn't there like a plant that like makes blissful feelings or something? Oh, Please man. Hold it. Mm. Yeah, 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 Adam Vines, that's what it is. I told it was a little as possible about the game. Yeah, I'm literally, I'm literally looking up nothing about the game. I only know it has Pokemon elements, and that's that's about as much as I know. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> you know how I got here? <laughs> I'm. I, I'm not where I should. I'm sorry. They kind of looked like Jesus Please, to me for I a second. Hope that you could help me. <laughs> my family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Okay, she she said, uh, "Ma'am, you seem confused. I think you just have dementia." Please hold. Hmm. Step through parallel result in haunted household activity. Might be a neighbor's doorway. That might be the problem. Actually, before I submit this, I will be right back. I just need to talk to my brother real quick.
All right, I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, let's cement that. Yo, wait, we read when something about you, this. Hold on, man. Awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is? I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Hmm. That's something about rotten eggs. Hold on, man. Where is it? Flower known to appear. No, it wasn't that. Mm. No, 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 not bed bugs, not a bed hag, not bed teeth, not bees, not black mold, not a boggart, not carbon monoxide. Fuck roaches, no. No. what you describe yourself as uh stupid is <laughs> what is stupid is that <laughs> mm. not a false beet not a false flower not a false rose bush not floor roots not a fracture hob not frozen pipes not a gopher not the horde not house fires not a house fly not a house spider hmm Nah, it's not a kobold. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's not a mole. Not that. Sorry, my brother was just talking to me for a second. Uh, Port Falls. Mm. There's something that very, very specifically said rotten egg spell. It's not fetal. Mm. So it's offing the scale pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big too. Mm. Mm. It says large clumps of fur. I wonder if she's mistaking poop for fur. say a trash thingy. Where is it? Trash doom, trash doom. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for calling hey, Arby's. Yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Alright, kids are itchy. Um, washing bed sheets, uh, nightmares. Alright. Please hold. Uh, mm. Hmm. No, I don't think it's that. Hmm. Inside bed sheets. Um, all discomforts. Here, is there anything like? Does it do nightmares? It doesn't mention anything about nightmares. Hmm, I feel like he would have mentioned cuts if it was bed teeth. Hmm. No, 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 it's not that. No, it's not that. Um, I don't think it's a bogger either. Uh, yes, sir. Your children are suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning. I'm kidding. Um. Hmm. Suck cockroaches. Buzzing sounds, yelling at children, missing children or pets, all direct, uh, b -b 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 left alone, rest being encased within. No, it's not that either. Don't that either. Not a cobalt either. Let's see, leprechaun. Definitely not a leprechaun. Hmm. No, it's not that. Oh god, I don't know what it is. Uh, tea spray. I don't think it's that either. Why a warlock remnants moving on their own? No, nothing about itchiness.
Crashes. Mm -hmm. Not harmful, grow sharper, left untreated. I can think of the follow. Uh... Where is the Dreamweaver thing again? One moment. Direct anxiety, large webs. Um, um, I don't think it's that either. Fuck! Um... Hmm. Sorry, I'm like clicking through it. Hmm. Definitely not a troll. Hmm. Give me one second, Chad, to put dinner in the oven. I'm back, chat. Fuck. The only... <laughs> the only thing that seems to mention, like, itchiness is the bed teeth. Mm. 
Itchy and nightmares. Itchy and nightmares. say bed teeth and give up because I don't quite know. Uh, sir, you got you got breeze. Um. I like the bed hag does. I think it just shortens the breath. Uh, dwell beneath beds. No, oh, fuck it. We'll just we'll just say fucking bed teeth, whatever. I have, I have a feeling I might be off, but whatever. Leprechaun in your house, and they have stolen your child's crowns. Please hold. I'm confident on this one. It's a leprechaun. See that one. That one was easy. That one I knew what it was right away. What? Leper leprechauns like steal like metals and they call like heating systems and houses to malfunction. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately my wife's clothes have started going missing and Yo, it's I a troll, I know this. Strange will be cushion type sound coming from outside. Come on, Thor, I think you better follow. The kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? There, I think I think I think you have a troll problem. Let's see. Tall foot, uh winter, okay. I'll play their bodies. Alright, sir, you got you got a troll troll on your property. That or a massive pervert that's stealing your wife's clothes. It's, it's one or the other. Sprite. I know what it is. Like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all.
Text a little slow. It's a tea spring. It doesn't matter if it's broken. I know what it is. I think. What if, what if it was actually just some loose tea leaves? Wait, hold on. <laughs> what if we're really wrong? It was literally was just loose tea leaves. Yeah, whatever. Look, if she if she gets stung by a bee and dies, that means she can't complain. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath. Oh, you got a bed hag. I already know I'm it. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Please hold. Is this still network error? Oh, whatever. Alright. Bed hag, final answer. My cat won't leave my bed. Okay, well, she does, but as soon as I want to go to sleep, she says that just before I do. Do I have a gnome or something? I, th I think you just have a cat. I think I, I diagnose you with cat. They are nuts hang low. Do they wobble to the floor? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Man, it sounds like you have an ice cream truck in your walls. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything. But I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Or or you might have a rogue clown in your wall. Yeah, she Ooh, might she oh. might just be playing Lethal Company. Hmm. Sing distant cries coming from their closet. Mm. No, it's not that. either. I'm 
don't, I don't think that's a match. Not that either. Hmm. No, it's not that. sounds like talking, so I don't think that's it. Um... Not that either. Hell's coming from the walls. I'm just gonna go with the whistling fungus. That, that's uh, that's my best guess. That's what we're that's what we're going with. If we're wrong, this lady's fucked. Whatever. All right. Who's my who's my next caller? Whatever. 
lady. I think I think you're just possessed by a dog. Bro, oh my god, they may have just had fun. If you just told me like there was bad, it was probably just like fucking bed bugs or nothing serious. Chad, I think we're getting fired tonight. Oh no, ma'am, your dog's dead. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you ma help? Ma'am, your meatball is cooked. Please, I'm oh. sorry. The puka. Sorry, Ms. Aunt. Yeah, it's, uh, I heard dog's dead. Whoops. Meatball's a pretty good dog name, though. I like that. I think I think Meatball is a great pet name. Oh my god, the rats! Eighty-four percent. That's not horrible. We did. We did pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we got a web browser now. What is this? Oh, it just lets me look at all the entries. Congratulations, happy report. Most pleased with your labors, and I'm currently making all necessary preparations for your pending dissension. What dissension? What? Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. Things we're working through the weekend. What? Uh, it's vaguely concerning. Hmm. Mm. Does it come with a pension? Okay, yeah, you're asking you're asking the real important questions. The trial has begun. What? We are followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. Uh. Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! Uh, you're bees. <laughs> you're, you're, you're bees. I know what you are. You're bees. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have, I have a feeling we're gonna die soon. I am not yet living in a clutter. I'm small and weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Oh, what? Please hold. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let me think. Um. I don't think it's an anime. Um. An animation is technically not living because it's possessing a doll. Um, Attic Gnome. I don't think it's that. I don't think that. It's not a bat. Not bed bugs. Not a bed hag. Not bed teeth. Not bees. I don't think it's black bold. Um. But if you're if you're living, how do you die? If I mean, if, like, if you're not living, how do you die? Not a false beat either. On a gopher. Maybe it's a warlock remnant? I know this sounds kind of weird, but I, th I think it might be that. We're gonna, we're gonna go with that. Please don't kill me for being wrong, I please. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm, I, I know what I'm doing, I swear. Encroaches of the dry and friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Oh wait, I know what you are. You're a you're a water nymph thingy. A moment, or rain nymph, whatever it's called. Where is it? Rain nymph. See you later. Press on, employee. Yes, yes, I will. I will meet the quota. I promise. Her death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Um. Please hold. Let me think. Um... Wait, 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 wait. Pestilence is a disease. Uh, I think it's mice. There you go. Rejoice! What do you what do you mean rejoice? 
What do you what do you mean for joys? What did I do? Oh my god, we're so fucked. We're gonna die, chat. I think the debate is that those who have too much step within and they lose their way. What am I? Oh, it's a it's a it's like a something labyrinth. Where is it? Um toko toko toko. Hmm. Hmm... Closet Labyrinth, that's what it is. Expand thy mind! Oh no, he's gonna- he's gonna pull up a Path of Exile <laughs> skill sheet. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Please hold. Hmm. Not that. Not bug. Not carbon monoxide. Cellular growth. No. Is it something? Uh, I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. If I see it, I'll know what it is. Mm, I think it's a seedling. Yeah, it's a seedling. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with that seedling. Let go, thy stilted soul. I should have thought, what, what date is the date? Were we sending emails from the future about how we were gonna die? I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? A house fire? Please hold. I think you I think you're a house fire, my dude. So good, well, but again, does this come with a pension? True, Drew. I wanna I wanna know if there's a pen descend. Descend into what? Madness? I already, I've already done that. I'm a VTuber, dude. I know I know everything about madness. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. DiGiorno's? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what am I? Please hold. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Uh. Is it that Dorcha? Dorcha? Dorcha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Dorcha. I think it's that. Deha! Deha! No, you happy? You happy? Deha! Deha! So zero, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare... Yo, chat! I'm getting promoted! Oh god, why, why are you opening your eyes like that? Uh, I don't know if I want this promotion. Wait, does it come with a 401k? 
Are we, are we, uh, are we, are we gonna fuck? Dude, I didn't want a woman, I wanted money. I want money. I don't want I don't want a wench. Give me money. Did we win? And we got so I got an achievement for completing the game. I I think we won. No idea. So uh, done. Can I say something? Sure. What is it? Hmm. Damn, we're missing like one achievement. Or what sounds like a false rose, but yeah, that may have been it. Alright, chat. That was that was fun. I like I like that game. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh wait, there's an art book that we can look at now. Nick Lives, Career of Home Safety Simulator. I'm best enough to gain curious about its development. Yeah, no, it's like um. Oh no, this guy was uh, this guy was influenced by the Dungeons and Dragon monster manual. He's fallen into Satanism. This is neat. I'm just like clicking through it real quick. Oh, wait. Hot glued to go. Oh, I guess it, I guess he got his wife to play the um the the forest lady. Cool. Alright, chat. That was fun. I like that. That was a good game. I'm happy I'm happy I played it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um tomorrow, like I said, I um like this the I, I said it before, this uh this week's stream schedule is probably gonna be gorilla. 
uh, just because like I have I have no idea like what what I'm gonna need to do this week in terms of like family obligations. Um, tomorrow if I do stream, I will probably play Dot Hack Infection since I'm trying to beat that. Um, so I actually I'll, I'll just I'll just announce and say I'm streaming tomorrow, but do keep in mind there's a chance I might cancel or delay it if I have to go do something. Um, who do I who do I know who's streaming who I can ship you guys off to? So wait, what day of the week is it? Wait, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm confused. For some reason, I thought today was Monday. I'm super confused. I don't know where I am. Um, let's see. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't rated Mimi in a while. We can, we can drop in on Mimi, see what she's up to. I love her art. Her art's really good. Alright, chat. Have fun with Mimi's. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. See you tomorrow.